previously on the Atherton Project. Oh, this is quick! He's going to be a song! Oh, he will take over the lead from Dragnet Arc. Here he comes into the finish! The Boston! Minal was right there in second place again. Every track, every race, he's just pushing me or I'm pushing him and we're battling it out every round. Ladies and gentlemen, your new leader, G. Good job, dude. That's right, mate. Well done, guys. We're in Italy. We're in Val de Sol for the fifth round. If you see our worker. Shit. Going into Val de Sol, uh, I knew it was a track I could do well on. You know, I was quite confident. I've had good results there in the past, and you know, I knew it suited me. I was kind of feeling confident and, and riding in practice, and you know, all the way through, I felt good. Yeah, it's good. Least runs I've ever done in the whole first day of practice. I did four runs, two of which were in the bone dry and fun, and the last two were in the piss and rain because the brownie forced me to. Alive. He's like, gee, no point in sat on your ass in a pitch. You're not going to learn it that way. Now get up there. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. It's gym night. For some reason, you, uh, Brownie's decided it's fitness week. We've got a little scoreboard going on. Last night, Stevie Bell took the lead on the press-ups. I'm timer slash quality control, commissaire. Clay Porter, are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? <laughs> okay. Remember, we need nice, honest press-ups here. Hold on, stop. <laughs> That's good. Come up. Gee. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, I know it. Go on, Clay. Machine. He's fighting it. That's the 42nd mark. He's slowing. 38. <laughs> Are you even getting an extra few seconds? <laughs> Don't. Ah, <laughs> oh, now you know how to <laughs> <laughs> Chef's up next. Timmy Morris. Confident. <laughs> Sweet form, dude. Sweet form. Yeah, he's getting like six inches deeper than you were, Clay. <laughs> Go on, Timmy. <laughs> Pretty nervous, dude. <laughs> Let's keep this camera at a safe distance. <laughs> Judge, could you keep an eye on this, please? Yeah, if you've got your media pass, you'll stay like two feet. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, Weak. Rush, come on. <laughs> 45. Yeah. 
Stevie Bell is up. Now this will be interesting whether the pressure of uh, being best qualified is going to get to him. His hair is on the road. He's doing good. He's flying for it. We're on 25 seconds and he's battering them out. 20 seconds to go. And done. Brownie has a performance of the night out. My qualifying run was pretty solid. I did push quite hard. I didn't charge 100% by that point. You know, the points were starting to get quite tight and I started to kind of feel that pressure that, that I needed the points. So I did a pretty solid qualifying run and, and went into the lead, so. Pretty solid run. It wasn't like a massive goal of mine to win it. It was almost like a practice run, you know, just still trying new lines and still still experimenting a bit. But yeah, uh, went well. I'm sitting, sitting fastest at the moment. First time he's qualified first this year. It'll be uh, interesting to see how he copes with it. Well, I think the real pressure's on Greg today, so, you know, if G has a good run, then he's, he's basically going to win it. Like. No two ways about it. At this point in the season, I was definitely starting to feel a bit of pressure to perform, you know. Only from myself, though, it was, it was that feeling that I had to win. And, you know, I wasn't going to be happy with second place there, and I wasn't going to be happy with anything other than the win. You know, I knew I needed those points, and. I knew I could win there, and more than any other race, I just decided that the win was all I wanted at that point. Greg was 15th, so he's now virtual leader of the World Cup Series. Greg went in the lead with a 3.19, two seconds quicker than G's qualifier. On the course it's probably a little bit rougher and maybe, maybe slower, so it's a good time. We'll have to see what happens. 49 and 73, one second and two, one second, two from Minara, go G. Atherton. Now the last jump, arriving at the last jump, G. Atherton, this pista la conosce bene, queste three torri le conosce bene, il tentativo di andare in primo e in seconda posizione, la prima è lontanissima, il podio le prime tre posizioni sono quelle, a quel punto G. Atherton, la Bretagna, il secondo in Coppa del Mondo, arriva, tre, third position, G. Atherton, three, twenty, Fifty-one and the final result here in Val di Sole. We got first here. How was it? Wank. Stevie, don't know if you can hear me, but G was third. Mark Beaumont won. Greg second. How was it? Of course, got so beat up. One of the main reasons for me being pretty bummed after that race was I knew it was somewhere I should have taken advantage of of that track and that terrain to, to try and put some points into Greg. You know, he's a solid rider and he's killing it on the technical tracks this year, but I was feeling confident that I could beat him there and you know I should have taken advantage of it and, and rode to how I knew I could ride and, and really gain some points. But as it was, you know, I went into the lead but only because of a mistake on Greg's half in qualifying and you know at that point it went super close. Like I wanted to win this weekend but I also wanted to put some points into Greg but that didn't happen you know. I guess I made the best of a bad job but that's it you know. Is Greg leading now? To be honest I don't know. I can tell you who's got it between us. It's mega close you know. He's still leading right? Yeah I think so. Never mind. Seven oh, well. Yeah it's close huh? Makes it more exciting. Wow. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All come down to the last round. Right. It would have been cool to have Greg behind me, but yeah. That's the way it goes. If you ride I'd like yeah, still be down to the last one anyway, but that's exactly really, yeah. But it's gonna just be <laughs> whoever wins wins it. I would like to have had that comfortable few points. G third! His worst result all season, but it's made the championship incredibly tight going in the last round. Yeah, it's uh it's a bit of a mixed bag of feelings for me right now, you know, it's, it's rad to take the lead and go into the lead in the championship, but I would have loved to have won on this track and, and loved to have taken the win here, but... And now we've got a month till the race in Wyndham, and you and Greg are pretty much tied in points. I mean, you might have seven points between you, almost might as well have not raced the whole season. It's going to be high pressure there for sure, isn't it, G? It is, yeah, it's going to be all down to that last round, you know, there's nothing between us, and like you say, it's almost like the races so far have meant nothing. It is going to 
going to be all or nothing at that last round, and I guess that makes for a good championship.